Panthers. A great nursery of rugby league players, as you can see all those extended squad players coming onto the field. What great scenes. They will remember this moment for the rest of their life. The dying metres by Lawton. Liotta has got it and Penrith will win. Moses Liotta, who was going to stop him from short range? Power game again from the Panthers. Again, the same way play with the right boot of Dylan Edwards. Awkward bounce, nervous bounce. The Panthers still alive in the opening set of the game. They have scored through James Fisher-Harris. The execution for the opening five plays was faultless. There was a little luck on the final. Yeah, but it will all come down to the effort, hasn't it, through the uh, Penrith Panthers there. Great start there. Stan Albert and Moses Leota laying the platform, getting him into some great position here. Should have been aware that a bigger kick was likely, and he goes Tyrone May, beats two, beats a third, and scores. We have seen him start the season at fullback. He's also played six. He's wearing jersey nine, but as a talent, irrespective of what number is on his back. Pua, back to May, it's on here. Show and go, and it was a nice one. Sony Luke. Good. Through Stanton Albert. It's on here for the Panthers who have done it beautifully. Dylan Edwards, the try scorer. Oh, and he spotted a gap. Everington shut it really quickly. Back to Pua. Through Luke. Long dummy. Short ball. And as a result, a good try to the Panthers. Corey Waddell rewarded for his perseverance. Went awfully close just two sets ago. At the same time, maybe, because both very creative and effective players. Here go the Panthers again, back on the inside. And it's try time. A good one for Braden Burns. He knew he was getting close to the touchline there. He pops the ball back on the underneath there to Burns. He's got plenty of work to do. The big left foot step. He's big. He's strong. He's got the footwork to back it up. And the Panthers, well, they make the Roosters pay for that little error down the other end of the field. Slow play the ball. Just giving that extra second or a second and a half to the Roosters to reset. But it doesn't help. Many thought he had been held Tyrone May. A second attempt got out of the tackle. But he continued on his way to the line. Guy has moved out to the wing. In the absence of Burns. Some good footy here from Penrith, and that is a great try. Corey Harawira Naira. Young Nathan Cleary coming in here. Only his third NYC game. Son of Ivan there. Got a lot of his father's characteristics too. He's very calm and composed. He'll steer the side around. They're set up beautifully on this right hand side as Cleary looks back on the inside, goes to the line. Nathan Cleary scores. That is two tries in six minutes. The opening eight and a half minutes, they dropped it mid-set. Cleary puts the ball up here. At the back, the ball has been dropped, and there is the Panthers' third. It is Jerome Luai. Here is Luke. Super talent, this kid beats a couple. What about the sidestep? Not one, not two, but three. And there's four points. He is a super little player. What about this? Sony Luke. Great speed, great footwork, and showing of strength there at the end to beat Dylan McGrath. Nice work, the big men combining. The big men scoring. Leota with number seven for the day. Enjoying the action, enjoying the scoreline. And straight through. That is embarrassing for the Raiders. Downfield we go. Harawira and Naira. A great try for the Penrith Panthers, who were on fire this afternoon. Sony Luke. 
Cleary. Just hooks it back. He didn't quite get onto it, but it might sit up anyway for Edwards. Dylan Edwards has got the pass. Back it goes to Tyron May. And the kick wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it works out favourably for Penrith. And Tyron May opens the scoring here at Pepper Stadium. Piggy back within five of the goal line. Quick play the ball. Out of dummy half they go. Tyron May gets the pass away. And Moses Leota scores under the post. Panthers 10-0 a kick to come. So the Panthers again heading towards the Wallacea end of the ground. And uh, there's a strong run from Felino. Gets the pass back to Nathan Cleary. Cleary versus the fullback, but it was no contest. Nathan Cleary streams around Donovan and picks up the third try of the afternoon for Penrith. Or two involved. Right hand side. Well, that pass is a bit sloppy again to Cleary. Cleary heads back inside. There goes Naden. Brent Naden's in the clear. Back to Cleary. Cleary heading for the try line, and Cleary gets try number two. And Naden streamed through and he said, I can see Cleary now. A try is coming, Alan Tung. I like it. I like it when nothing much is happening whatsoever. The ball actually goes to the ground and Cleary, well, he makes something out of nothing. A step back on the inside, finds Brent Naden, who shows great speed. Left hand side, Leota. Moses Leota heading towards the line, cut short. Liam Knight, an important tackle. Luke takes them on himself. The over-exaggerated dummy to the left-hand side. Sneaks through to the right. And under the post they go. Sony Luke. Panthers on the attack. Katoa. Cleary. They looked at the numbers. Cut out ball. He wants it there. There goes Harawira Nida. And Corey. Harawira Nida plants the ball in the corner. The motor of Moses. Now they've got some numbers on the left-hand side if they get it there. There goes James Fisher-Harris. He links up with Tyron May. Tyron May's got 20 metres to go. You won't stop Tyron May. They look to their left-hand side. The opportunity was there. They take it with open arms. And the Panthers, they'll be hard to catch from here. The final knockout blow is it on its way here. Sony Luke. Away now to Jerome Luai. Short ball away to James Fisher-Harris. You said that he was destroying them in the Holden Cup. Well, he certainly is. Brett Kamali, he seals the deal. James Fisher-Harris. They'll take on each other, and you'll see that replay action tomorrow morning. 7.30, Sonny Luke punctuates what's been a brilliant game for him. And they do skip beyond 40. Yeah, you know, we always knew we could stick in there and win ugly. We just need to stay in the grind. Travoyevich was carving us up early, but we just did well sticking it, complete our sets in the second half and day up well. For the Penrith Panthers, the minor premiers, 20 wins this year, four losses. And I think that would have been great for them knowing that they're not having Nathan Cleary. Gives them a couple of weeks preparation to get a guy like Tyra May back into the halves. A good ball from Luai. Playing short side and does it so easily. Sony Luke. He's a superstar, this kid. Last tackle here. Short side. Maybe not the kick Tyrone May was looking for because easily back out to the 20. And losing the ball, the Warriors, Edwards. Edwards scores. His defence at one end of the park rewarded with points at the other. I'm wrapped if this is a ward to see this kid get a try. Two great plays at the other end of the park. He has saved points. Has he scored points? The answer is yes. Dylan Edwards, congratulations. What a five or ten minutes it's been for that young bloke. Struggled for field position. Not now, though. Tavanga putting a Pori into a nice big hole. And they've saved another one, the Panthers. Don't quite know how. But that left-hand side defence has saved another. Start this second 40 minutes. Luai to the air. Abby at the back. A big test here. Naden comes down with it. Offloads to Jennings. Perfect start, Penrith in this second half. Last tackle. Playing to the right hand side, and short, and over. Corey Harrowier and Ida. 
Three on two here. Arrowwear and Nida. Still the last tackle. Out to Jennings, who accelerates, flicks it back on the inside to Tyrone May. The Panthers score their seventh, and they are off to the grand final. And an intercept. Red perfectly from the Panthers. He could stop and crawl the last 20 metres. They are a class above the Panthers tonight. Dylan Edwards with his second. 50 points to 16. Convincing winners. Kick downfield from the Warriors. It is out. And it is over. Nine tries to three. The Penrith Panthers, 50, have defeated the Warriors, 16. The Warriors are gone, and Penrith is the first team through to next Sunday's grand final. It is Holden Cup time to start the party. Manly Warringah Seagulls finished the season fourth. The Penrith Panthers with the minor premiers. They are the favourites. And a little sloppy here from Penrith. They are on the edge of the go zone. Big open side, and they are deep. They again go to the right, it's Sony Luke! It's the first try score in the grand final. We mentioned pre-game just how effective this young man is at playing eyes up football. Big test here for the Eagles. Luke again popping his head through the line. The body almost followed. Leota, numbers here. May charges to the line. He's claiming a try. The referee in great position and awards it. Brett, when they met three weeks ago, it was the Eagles that got off to the quick start. Yeah, that's right. And I think Manly would have been saying, we've got to start fast again. But Penrith have ambushed that. Look at this hard oh, running. Oh, Leota. Panthers on the attack now, Andy. And numbers again. Jennings. Jennings is through. Over. And smiles. There is some genuine power. If Penrith go long and left, they will score here. Up very quickly was the Eagles defence. Luai not stopped yet. He spits it out the back. Numbers here for Penrith. They score. This is just the class of the whole Penrith football side because they don't rely on one individual player. The offload there, the freakishness, the ability to hold their shape, they've got strike weapons all across the park. That's great attack, that's good football. Dylan Edwards from the sideline. Oh, too good. Mid count only. Lua. Chewy Gamala. Bumps out a one. Thompson to Igamala. Half a metre short. They lead by 10. Luke goes back to May. Plays it short to Fisher Harris. Play on is the call. May. Luai travels across field. Dummies to Naden. Then he straightens. Holds her appearing. And that is a ripper. A ripper for the Panthers. And Jerome Luai, one of the tries of the day. What about the footwork from Jerome Luai? Had more moves than Johnny Castle in Dirty Dancing. Nathan Cleary, the nerves. You can see him jiggling there up and down on the spot. He'd feel a much better after that Jerome Luai. His replacement in the halves with that lightning try there. And as the siren sounds, that is it for 2015. The Panthers are your champions. Congratulations to the Penrith Panthers, to coach Cameron Seraldo and the players they have used in 2015. They have been a class act from round one through to the grand final. A great nursery of rugby league players. As you can see, all those extended squad players coming onto the field. What great scenes. They will remember this moment for the rest of their life. Well, Drone Loy, can you tell us how the feeling of being the Premiers is? Uh, lost the words, to be honest. The boys worked hard all this season, and yeah, it's just amazing. No words. You went through a lot of players this year. People went up and down all year. It's been very much character building. Can you sum up how you felt throughout the year? Well, the strength of our side was having the backup and, and just filling in when our um, boys were injured, but 
a lot of characters in here and I'll remember this side for the rest of my life and the rest of my career. So Very special moment in your life. Obviously the emotion here and a lot of players, you can see how enjoy how much enjoyment you have. It must be pleasing for you. Yeah, it is. Um, we worked hard for uh, this whole year and pre-season was tough and we talked all throughout this year, no regrets. Do your job and yeah, it's paid off for us. I enjoyed watching today. Great victory, good job. Cheers, Kamali. Thanks, Fox Sports. So the Penrith Panthers can start their celebrations, the Holden Cup premiers for 2015, and they're an excited bunch of boys with good reason as a result.